In this recording, we shall look at working with zero in solving some arithmetic problems. And the first few properties of zero we will look at are properties 1, 2, 3 and 4 listed here. Namely, any number a plus zero is a and any number a minus zero is a. That is, adding or subtracting zero from a number will just give the number. The third property, 0 minus a is negative a. And a fourth property, 0 times a number is just 0, because 0 lots of a number are just 0. So let's apply this to a first example. If we wanted to work out 0 minus 5 times 0, which properties would be useful here? And we need to work out the brackets first. So the first useful property is property 3, that 0 minus a number is the negative of the number. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5, and that is still multiplied by 0. This is now of the form number a times 0, which we know from property 4 in our list is just 0. Let's have a look at a couple more properties of 0. Property 5, 0 divided by any non-zero number is 0. And property 6, any number divided by 0 is undefined. So let's see how these apply to an example. And in our second example, if we want to work out 5 minus 0 divided by 0, how will we do this? And the first property that will be useful, we need to work out the numerator of that expression, 5 minus 0. That's of the form a minus 0, which is just a. So that becomes 5 minus 0 is 5 divided by 0. And this is now of the form shown in property 6, a number divided by 0. And any number divided by 0 is undefined. So therefore, that in fact is undefined. The last three properties of zero listed here that are useful, zero raised to the power of any positive number a is equal to zero. a to the power of zero is one, provided a is a non-zero number. And if a was zero, we would have zero to the zero, which is undefined. So let's just practice a few more examples to put these and the first few properties we saw into practice a bit more. Next one, what would we get for instance if we worked out 3 to the power of 0 plus 0 divided by 4? And so we'll be working out the power first, so 3 to the 0, that's a to the 0, non-zero number to the power of 0, which is 1. So that's 1 plus 0 divided by 4. We then would work out our division here, 0 divided by 4. That will relate to property 5, which is 0 divided by some non-zero number. So that will become 0. That is, we will have 1 plus 0. And we recall from property 1 that any number plus 0 is just the number. So therefore, the answer will just be equal to 1. For a next example, let's consider the square root of 0. And we don't remember a rule about the square root of 0, but a square root it will help if we write that as a power. And the square root of 0 is the same as 0 to the power of a half, which is 0 to the power of a positive number. And 0 to the power of any positive number is just equal to 0 by rule 7 in our list. So that is equal to 0. Next example, what about 0 plus 0 to the power of 0? And again, we need to work out the brackets first. 0 plus 0 is just 0 by rule 1, that any number, including 0, you add 0 and you just get the number. So that is 0 to the 0. And we saw that any non-zero number to the power of 0 was 1. And we saw that 0 
to the power of any positive number was 0. So what happens with 0 to the power of 0? And by property 9, that is actually undefined. So there all we can say is that that is undefined. Let's do one final example. We talked about 0 to the 0 is undefined. 0 to the power of a positive number is just 0. So what happens with 0 to the power of a negative number, such as 0 to the negative 2? And negative power, that's the same as 1 divided by 0 to the corresponding positive power. So 1 divided by 0 squared in this case. Now 0 squared, that is 0 to a positive number, so from rule 7 we know that's 0. So 1 divided by 0 squared will be 1 divided by 0. But we know from rule 6 any number divided by 0 is undefined. So therefore 0 to the negative 2, because that reduces to 1 divided by 0, that is undefined. And it follows that 0 to the power of any negative number will indeed be undefined. So these are useful principles to remember in terms of working with 0.